Hey, what's going on guys? This is Broku, and welcome back to another Dragon Ball video. Welcome back to another What If. What if Beerus woke up after GT Part 10? This is my fan fiction What If series, and man, it's been a while, but I'm going to continue it now. And I do need to remind you guys that this is What If Week, so every day of this week, Monday through Friday, I will be uploading a What If at 5.30 p.m. Pacific Time. And if you guys love What If Week, then help me out by giving me 1,500 likes on every single video. No, What If Week is a very fun experience, but it also takes a lot of work for me. So one way to guarantee its return, and that is to get 1,500 likes on every single video during the week. With that, let's get ahead into this video. So we left off with our main protagonist, Luke and Maya facing off against Cell. They tried their best to stop him from being complete and to end his reign on the universe, but he would actually end up becoming complete and re-perfect again. With this, Luke, Maya, and everyone else had thought that the universe was doomed, but old man Bardock came out of nowhere and was ready for revenge on the being that ruined his life and killed his family. So, your time is now up. You ran away from me many years ago. You were too weak then. I know you are stronger now, or were stronger, until you lost my son and his friends. But still, I won't let you get away. What? Bardock is Goku's father? Oh Bardock, how much of a joy it was stealing your son's energy and killing your grandsons. As you may know, it was your grandson that had originally defeated me many years ago. Now I have stolen his power and used it to wreak havoc on the universe. How ironic. I will kill you. Cell immediately powers up into his golden form, and then Bardock goes Super Saiyan White. I use Super Saiyan White in this what if, but now that Mastered Ultra Instinct is basically Super Saiyan White, I wanted to do an easy retcon here. So, Super Saiyan White equals Mastered Ultra Instinct. So, Bardock, he really goes Mastered Ultra Instinct instead of Super Saiyan White. This fight would be of epic proportions. A former God of Destruction versus a Cell that has been insanely powerful. Their punches digging deeply into each other. Key Blasts are shaking the universe around them. Everyone watched in awe with the Saiyan Army, Tien's Dojo, and Pride Army all are watching it. Nearly all the juniors had been dispatched of by the armies, but the ones that were alive were watching their creator in battle for the first time in a while. Bardock was weaker, just like Cell. He was very old. Had he been, had he been back in his prime when he was a god of destruction, he could have easily defeated Cell in a single hit without even using Mastered Ultra Instinct. Bardock's muscles tightened, his bones were trembling. This fight in space reminded him of his first taking on Frieza so long ago. Master Bardock's insanely powerful. That old geezer can really fight. No wonder why Son Goku is so strong. He just inherited his father's powers. Goku, Vegeta, and Majub still lay unconscious, as in the last part, Cell had spit them out because of how hard Maya had hit him. Both Luke and Maya were surrounding their bodies looking at them. Maya imagined the many adventures and many fights they had endured. They couldn't help but wonder if they would soon awake to join the battle with Cell. Bardock was struggling. Even his mastered Ultra Instinct form could only do so much against Jiro's perfect creation. Cell had become far stronger than Jiro had ever thought any of his cre creations would ever reach. Cell kept fighting away. Whenever Bardock got a successful hit, Cell would counter back with a devastating blow. Bardock's key was deteriorating quickly. He was getting too old and couldn't take it anymore. With a kick, Cell broke Bardock's arm and Bardock was reverted to Super Saiyan 4 Blue, a weaker form than Mastered Ultra Instinct. With just one arm and being reverted to a lesser form, he had no chance and brought his last trump card. I've been saving this for you for years, Cell. Bardock put up his good hand, opened his palm, and faced it towards him. Final Hakai, and a huge purple key blast emitted and headed towards Cell. He looked at it with shock. Immediately he tried to use instant transmission, but he didn't think fast enough. Just as he had used it to teleport, the destruction energy had taken course and taken over half of Cell's body. Well, I missed partially, but even if you can regenerate, you should not be able to regenerate from that. You vastly underestimate me, Bardock, as Cell's lower body slowly regenerated. Interesting, my legs are green showing that I can't use the golden form with them just yet, but I won't need my legs to finish everyone else off. But as for you, that was all of your energy. You are so old and crumbling. That is all you have left. Goodbye, Bardock. Bardock had reverted to his base form, all the key had left from his body, and he was essentially dead. His body was floating away in space and was picked up by a crying Maya. Goku, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, as Luke began punching the chest of Goku. Ow, jeez, kid. What was that for? 
Luke and Mai both looked over in shock. Goku was now awake. Where am I? Why is Vegeta and Majub asleep? Oh. Cell. Now I remember. We were fighting him. How long have we been out? You guys have been unconscious for th over 30 years. You were once a part of Cell. He had absorbed you and stolen your powers. He took over the universe. So many have died now. Even your father just gave his life for the cause. My father? Bardock, huh? Wow, Cell's gotten really strong to take even him out. Well, he had grown weak through old age. He must go and defeat Cell now. I don't know if I can beat him right now. He has grown far more powerful than when we last fought, and even then I had trouble with him. I have one plan. I need to use the spirit bomb. Goku flew a bit distance away and put his hands in the air. An energy ball appeared from his own Genki and had the natural Genki around. Everyone, please lend me your energy. Raise your hands, we can defeat Cell with this together. Vegeta, Oob, everyone else kept Cell distracted so that he can gather this energy. And then Goku said, King Kai, please tell everyone about this. Goku did not have enough time though. The others couldn't hold Cell for long, he had to use what he had. Goku threw the spirit bomb at Cell and started pushing it towards him. He then went Super Saiyan 4 Blue to push it even harder. Perfect Cell then pushed his once green legs back to golden and did his full power Kamehameha. He pushed it at the Genki Dama or the Spirit Bomb and knocked it right back into Goku. With the bomb dissipating and Goku's body no longer there, everyone thought he was dead and thought that the Spirit Bomb had failed, and they thought Doom was their fate. But moments later, Goku was back in a fury. He was changed, and so was his power. Goku was now Ultra Instinct Omen, and at first was equal to Cell, but would soon overpower him as the Ultra Instinct got stronger. Everyone noted the similarities of Goku's new form with Bardock's mastered Ultra Instinct. But Perfect Cell, along with his golden form, would attain his final step of evolution towards perfection. He had attained God Key, giving him a huge power boost and pushing him over the edge on Ultra Instinct Omen Goku. Goku kept fighting, but even his newfound reactability couldn't defeat Cell. Goku was knocked back far away and landed right next to Luke and Maya. Here Goku, take these, put them on your wrists. Why? Goku, just do it now. Goku put the ancient wristbands on and his power grew tremendously. Remember, for each user using one of them, it would grow their power tens of times. So if Goku wore both, it would be tens of times, times, tens of times, so he'd be a lot stronger. In fact, his powers grew, grew so tremendously that Goku was essentially able to easily defeat Perfect Cell. He reverted Cell back to his non-golden form, and in just a few punches, wrecked Cell so hard and then finished him with a Kamehameha that Cell got to the point where he couldn't even regenerate anymore. And all of Cell Jr's died with the death of Cell himself. Goku reverted back to his base and looked down at the wristbands. These are not really fair. It gives you power you didn't work for. I might as well destroy these. No, Goku, wait. These are the, are sacred and shall not be destroyed. Trust us, we won't use them for evil reasons. We're, we're looking to find the full set of the sacred armor used by the knight who defeated Darkness. Darkness? Is he strong? Why, yes. We don't know how strong, but he's been talked about in legends. Goku walked over to his father's dead body, put his hands over it. He tried to use the, his key as a refibrillator to bring him back. After a few unsuccessful attempts, his final attempt would work. Bardock coughed up blood and came back up alive. Goku would use the Dragon Balls to wish everyone killed by Cell to be brought back to life and this brought back many billions of people including many of Goku's friends and family. With Cell defeated, all seemed to be good in the world, but Luke and Maya still had a mission, to finish finding the set of the knight that had defeated Darkness, where many parts of his suit had spread across the universe once Darkness had been defeated. The knight had believed that this much power could grow too strong and be too corrupting in many hands, and that's why he destroyed the suit and spread each piece across the universe. This leads us to the next phase of Luke and Maya's adventure, searching for the ancient set of the night. But anyways guys, what do you think about this what if? Please let me know what you think, comment your thoughts, and let me know if you want me to do another part of this for what if week, or you want me to wait a bit more, because I could probably get to writing one and probably get it out for the finale of what if week for friday but anyways guys do leave a like if you enjoyed subscribe if you are new turn on notifications join my discord and follow me on twitter and don't forget guys what if week every single day of this week monday through friday 5 30 p.m pacific time that's when i'll be uploading these videos and to keep what if week going 
for a future occurrence that would mean to be 1,500 likes per video. But anyways, hope you guys all have an amazing day. And thank you to all of my Patreon supporters. So my Super Saiyans is Hodag Hunter. And my Super Saiyan 2's Darius, Israel Flores, Locke, Anime Paradox, and Mystic Ghoul. And also, thanks to my Super Saiyan 3's Scotland Serenity, Diraj Payton, Sin Overlord, and Griffin Jacob. Thank you guys so much for all the support. It really does mean a lot. And I hope you guys all have an amazing day. Peace out.